Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. Today we're talking about the Rhino Arc 2 firmware upgrade 1.04, what the new features are, what bugs we fixed, and how you can upgrade to it. One point oh four is a minor firmware release. It has two new features. One is called fast focus. The other is called user adjustable auto shutoff time. I'll go over that one first. Right now, Rhino Arc Two turns off after fifteen minutes of being idle when it's not in a move. Now, if you walk away from your camera and after fifteen minutes, you might actually lose your move because it auto shuts off. So we added a menu item in settings that allows you to choose between thirty minutes one hour and never for the unit to shut off. All right, now the other feature I'm excited about is fast focus. Right now, Arc 2 has two keyframes that you can use to create a move. And if you're doing a rack focus using those two keyframes, you might be racking from your foreground to your background or to a subject that you're revealing. That's often how I use it. The problem with that is that your, your subject is gonna be in focus at the end of the frame and then your shot ends. So what fast focus does is it doubles the speed of focus throughout your move so that your subject will be in focus in the middle of the shot and then you have the middle to the end of actual usable footage while getting that cool rack in there for the slider move. Here's a couple examples of it. I wanna show you how to actually upgrade your firmware if you don't know how. I have the Arc2 app open on my phone and connected to my unit. I'm gonna click on settings. I'm gonna click on firmware version and then click on install. All right, your screen will go blank on your unit. That's completely normal. And then on your phone, it says keep your phone on this screen and don't connect don't disconnect Arc 2 during this process. It will take less than one minute. It usually takes about 30 to 45 seconds. So after your firmware is updated on your unit, you can close the app, power back up Arc 2, and you're ready to roll. All right, so we fixed a lot of bugs with this firmware release. I'm not gonna get into all the nitty gritty details. If you click on the link below, all the release notes are in the blog on our website. One issue that I do wanna touch on here is we fixed a bug regarding tilt position not saving when you're setting up two keyframes. Uh, this was a math error that if you were changing tilt less than four degrees, which if you're using a macro lens, you can still change tilt quite a bit, um, it wouldn't actually save your tilt position. That's been completely fixed. So go check out the change log for all of those details. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, make sure to update to 1.04. It fixes a lot of bugs in addition to the features and will just make your system more stable. Let us know what you think about the new firmware. Uh, if you guys have anything that you want to add or any features you want to see, add them to our feature request page. And if you have any problems at all, please reach out to support at rhinocg.com. Thanks for watching.